No matter what kind of FPS player you are, the best PS4 and PS5 shooters have something to keep you entertained by yourself or with friends. All of our picks are arranged in alphabetical order and playable on both PS4 and PS5, and some have PS5 enhancements. Here are our picks for the 20 best PlayStation shooters. Apex Legends with 2019's Apex Legends, Respawn Entertainment brought the flair for movement that defined its Titanfall series to the battle royale genre. Apex Legends has hero abilities like Overwatch, a revolutionary ping system, you can talk without a mic, and a roster of firearms that just feel really good to use. All this, and you got a battle royale that hangs with the best of them. Battlefield 1 Taking place during World War I, Battlefield 1 offers a vignette-style campaign with multiple perspectives on the Great War. Drive a tank, fight on foot, pilot a biplane, Battlefield 1's multi-perspectives provides a campaign of unmatched variety. DICE's military shooter is one of the best in the series, and well worth playing for its single player alone. Bioshock The Collection Bioshock The Collection offers an inexpensive ticket to some of gaming's most unforgettable locales. The Collection has it all! Bioshock, Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite, and all of the trilogy's DLC. The original Bioshock is still the best of the bunch. Even 14 years after Bioshock's initial release, nothing is quite like Rapture, the 1940s era city at the bottom of the sea. Solid shooting mechanics keep the game exciting, and big garish personalities keep the story enjoyable through its famous twist. Bioshock 2 was released two and a half years later, and it feels like a retread in many ways. The player returns to Rapture, but this time as a big daddy. What it lacks in novelty, Bioshock 2 makes up for in depth and a wealth of new combat options. 2013's Bioshock Infinite is the most polarizing of the bunch, taking the player to Columbia, a floating city in the sky. It's a beautiful setting, where early 20th century architectural grandeur belies a dark and bigoted core. Much has been said about the ways Infinite handles its core themes, but riding around on sky rails and slamming down on unsuspecting enemies below is undeniably still a ton of fun. Borderlands 3 Borderlands 3 doesn't do too much that's new, but it does plenty that's better. Some are small, like the tweak to the minimap that makes detecting changes in elevation way easier. Some are big, like the fact that you have a spaceship which you can use to fly among locations. Environments are varied, from the Pandora Desert to a mountainous world inspired by the Himalayas to a futuristic city in the midst of a hostile corporate takeover. Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Modern Warfare is THE game that brought Call of Duty into the present, abandoning the beaches of Normandy in favor of modern conflict in a fictionalized United States' own 21st century wars. Missions like All Gillied Up are still a blast to play today, and it's hard to beat some of the classic multiplayer maps like Shipment. And the game has never looked better thanks to the remastering for modern consoles. Call of Duty Warzone Call of Duty Warzone makes some smart tweaks to the Battle Royale formula. For instance, the game introduced the Gulag, a prison where downed players are transported for 1v1 gunfights, with the winner earning a respawn. This free-to-play FPS features the tight gunplay, steady progression, and vehicular mayhem that had made Call of Duty multiplayer a popular mainstay for almost 15 years. Destiny 2 Destiny 2 is a pioneering live-service game and an endlessly fun mashup of FPS gameplay and an MMO-style meta. Whether you're playing by yourself, tackling a strike with friends, or going on the series' famous and famously long raids, Destiny 2 has something for everyone. Add in Bungie's flair for lore and some of the best proper nouns in the business, and you've got an evocative world that simply could not feel better to shoot through with a group of friends. Doom 2016 Doom 2016 was a big surprise, reinvigorating the pioneering shooter series after a 12-year gap. It emphasized frantic gameplay, strafe-heavy gunfights, and a story that took itself just seriously enough to work. The multiplayer remains underwhelming, but the single-player campaign is a hard-charging FPS that keeps the action moving at all times. This was the best kind of reboot. It considered the things that made the original games special, and recontextualized them in a thoroughly modern game. Doom Eternal 
Doom Eternal was less focused than Doom 2016, but it's a magnificent ballot of bloodshed nonetheless. Doom Eternal serves up more of what made the 2016 reboot sing. New abilities like Flame Belch and Ice Bomb injected fresh dynamism into an already brilliant combat system. Detailed degradation on enemies offer at-a-glance updates on your combat progress, which fits in brilliantly with the game's Hellfire, Brimstone, and Blood aesthetic. Outside of firefights, Eternal is slightly more of a mixed bag. The lore is too self-serious and the platforming can be confusing. Still, when you're in a fight, Doom Eternal plays unlike anything else on the market. Fallout 4 Bethesda made big strides in terms of controls with Fallout 4, delivering better shooting mechanics than in previous entries while retaining its timeless role-playing game structure. It's a lengthy and expansive RPG that serves up plenty of interesting quests in the wasteland surrounding Boston, multiple factions to side with or against, a massive world to explore, and a story that reacts to your choices. There are some downgrades, role-playing isn't as nuanced as in previous games, and companions don't have much to say, but they're made in favor of deeper simulational elements. Plus, for creatives, Fallout 4 has extensive base-building mechanics, which you can use to build impressive hideouts. Far Cry 5 If you've played Far Cry 3 or 4, you'll know what to expect from Far Cry 5. It's a thoroughly entertaining romp in the Montana wilderness nonetheless. Players take on the role of a junior deputy sheriff attempting to take down cult leader Joseph Seed and his followers, the project at Eden's Gate. As in previous Far Cry games, expect to take out outposts either with stealth or sheer force, and listen to a charismatic villain deliver his monologue. Far Cry 5 is a great time in single player and co-op. Metro Exodus the third and final game in developer 4A's Metro Trilogy, Exodus eschews tight linear levels for a pseudo-open world as protagonist Artyom and his fellow survivors exit the underground in favor of a speeding train across the frozen Soviet landscape. Based on Dmitry Glukovsky's novel Metro 2035, Metro Exodus is a rare modern shooter with great battles and storytelling in a gorgeous world. Overwatch Blizzard's hero shooter was the defining FPS for much of the previous generation, featuring a diverse and massive roster of aesthetically and mechanically distinct characters, flashy abilities, memorable maps, and frequent seasonal events. And even if you're not good at shooting, that's okay! Healers are a vital part of any team's composition. But be sure to invite a few friends to play with you, because Overwatch is a multiplayer-only game. Prey Prey isn't as propulsive, violent, or kinetic as other entries on this list. In fact, you can sneak through much of this sci-fi immersive sim without firing a bullet. Instead, the draw is the setting. Arcane's games, like its Dishonored series, are known for their play-your-way approach to level design. Powers such as the ability to transform and play as objects in the environment instantly get the mind racing with possibility. And... The 2018 expansion Mooncrash transplants the core gameplay into a roguelike structure. Rage 2 Co-developed by id Software and Avalanche Studios Group, Rage 2 has the tight gunplay you expect from the creators of Doom and Wolfenstein in a post-apocalyptic desert world. The open world isn't as exciting as you might expect from Avalanche, but the fights are hectic, gory fun, and the tone is less serious than the previous underwhelming Rage. Rainbow Six Siege A brilliant tactical shooter, Rainbow Six Siege is one of the best FPS games available today. The shooting feels great and responsive, but planning and teamwork are just as important. Rainbow Six Siege has only gotten better since launching way back in 2015. New maps and operators create an engrossing tactical experience, even after playing hundreds of hours. If you're a fan of tactical shooters that require excellent teamwork, Rainbow Six Siege is hard to beat. Super Hot! Super Hot has a simple premise. Time only moves when you move, and it wholeheartedly commits to that concept. More of a puzzle game than a traditional FPS, Super Hot asks players to think carefully about every move they make and every bullet they fire. It's innovative, meta, and has spawned two pseudo sequels Super Hot VR and Super Hot Mind Control Delete. Titanfall 2 the best first-person shooter campaign since Half-Life 2? 
It depends on who you ask. But Respawn Entertainment's briskly paced sci-fi FPS undeniably has some of the best moment-to-moment -moment gameplay of any title on this list. Sprint, slide, double jump, shoot, sprint, and shoot some more as you blast through some of the best levels of the last generation. Add in a suite of multiplayer modes and you have a full package that few FPS can rival. Wolfenstein The New Order Wolfenstein The New Order is a stellar reinvention of the classic FPS franchise with great shooting and strong stealth. Plus, it features a compelling alternate history with its fair share of indiscriminate Nazi slaughter. And yes, a touching romance between hero BJ Blazkowicz and his lover Anya. The 2014 game looks slightly dated at this point, but the action and storytelling are still a major success. Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Machine Game's second Wolfenstein game is a Nazi-killing extravaganza that pays equal attention to rip-roaring action and ensemble storytelling. The story moments land, the dialogue is strong, and the gunplay is as good as ever. We especially love how The New Colossus handles progression. Overall, The New Colossus is a FPS with enough hyper-violence and an over-the-top story that would even make Quentin Tarantino blush and then applaud. And that does it for our 20 favorite PS5 and PS4 first-person shooters. What were your favorites, and was there anything you think we missed? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give that like button a little pistol whip, and subscribe for more content around the games you love. And I'll see you guys next time.